Greetings to all of my one, two, threes. How y'all doing today? Um, hopefully you all are feeling amazing right now. I am out here. I'm going to try. It looks like it's going to rain. So if it does start to rain, what I'll do is just finish out the reading um, in a car, okay? But I'm going to see what this energy is like. Halloween is tomorrow. I wanted to do a later reading today. Plus, I had something that I wanted to go take care of this morning. So, I'm doing a later reading. And this is a this is for the collective sign of all of my Pisces. And so, you can have Pisces in any of your placement. It doesn't matter where it is. I hope you enjoy the background. <laughs> It's beautiful out here, kind of windy, and it's cooler because I'm sitting by the water, so if it gets too cold for me, I do have my little, I bought my little wrap with me, my little black, it's like a baby blanket for adults, it's so soft, oh my goodness, but anyway, I got that with me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards on camera. I was trying to find a table where I could set up, but it's so windy out here. I thought, I said, you know what? If I set up on a table, because it's so windy, the cards are going to constantly keep blowing. So, yeah, I just decided to do it out the trunk. All right, but anyway, let's see what this energy is for the collective sign of my Pisces. For today, which is Monday, October the 30th. All right. So, Pisces, the first card out for you is a star card. You could be in the energy now of where you're really wishing for something. You're trying to manifest something. You're trying to keep your faith in the situation here. And I feel like this could be two things that you're pouring into. If you look at this energy, can you can you see it? Can you see it? This energy is pouring into the grass back here, but also the pond. Now, isn't it interesting that an energy, why would they feel like they have to pour water into water, right? But we know water is emotion. It represents emotions in the tarot deck. It represents deep emotions. It represents um, who we are, you know, on a, on almost in on a spiritual level right that subconscious type energy so this person this energy here isn't worried about running out of something so I feel like you're pouring in two areas of your life energetically you're giving something emotions this could be two jobs this could be to children, this could be to parents, this could be to relationships, just two aspects of your life. Now, I do see you're hoping that something pay off. And I really feel like with the star card, this is more Pisces about you being in that energy of having faith that everything is going to work out. I also feel like with that huge star right here, this huge star, this is you, you may be thrust in the spotlight in some area of your life. This could be on the, in the, the spiritual realm, really focusing on you because you've been praying, you've been trying to manifest things. This could be, to be your spiritual guides, really trying to give you some sort of confirmation that you're, you know, that you've been manifesting and that you've been praying and that you've been, you know, keeping your faith and you've been hoping something is going to turn out well. Or something is going to come into, you know, fruition or something like that. So whatever this is, Pisces, I really feel like this is a time. I got a hangnail here. And I don't have my fingernail clipper with me. But anyway, I feel like this is a time where you may be thrust into the spotlight in some way. Now, this could be in this realm this could be around people when you know if you're around people um you're doing something in your life you're trying to communicate with different people you're trying to do certain things in your life so this could be in this realm but this also could be 
from a spiritual realm too, okay? All right, so the next card out is the Ace of Cups. So I do see you getting something. I, I don't know what this is you're wishing for. These are general readings. So, of course, it's going to be different for different Pisces. But I really feel like this is this is like some sort of emotional fulfillment that you're feeling here. So, look at, look at how this energy here... I'm trying to... Look at how this energy here has a cut behind them here, if you can see it. It's kind of, you know, the light is behind me, so it's kind of hard to see. And there's a, I'm sorry, a picture here. There's also a picture here in that hand. Now, it's almost as if whatever this is that's behind you that don't have your full attention, because if you can see this energy is looking more into the pond more than they're looking into what they're uh, pouring into on land. So on land, this is like earth. This is like Taurus, Virgo, um, Capricorn energy, right? So there may be something emotionally deep that's coming from an earth sign, some sort of connection. Now with this Ace of Cups here, this is almost as if energetically whatever is behind you, so this could even be something from your past. It looks like you're focused on your present wishes right now. That's where your attention is right looking in front of you but something you poured into in the past is coming and it's offering itself this could have just been energy that you've been putting into something you kind of it's almost as if I almost feel like you put your energy into something and said okay I'm not really seeing any change or return on that or something right there and I don't see like this person is a reciprocating the love or they're not being the person who I want them to be or they're not or or this job isn't giving me what I'm looking for it's almost as if you said I'm gonna keep energetically pouring in it but you know, it's it's still sort of lingering there in the past, but your main focus is on what's in front of you, your present life at this time. And this is what I feel like, but I feel like something from your past is coming back. There's an offer coming in. It's, it's like behind you. Something from your past is coming. It's trying to get your attention and whatever it is, it's big. It's huge. Okay, I feel like this is going to be something that brings you emotional happiness. You're going to be kind of like, oh, wow, I forgot all about this person or I forgot all about that thing. I forgot I uh, poured that energy into something behind me and here it is presenting itself again. You know, you have the full card here. Can you see it? So the full card speaks of like that going through a new portal sort of speak in your life so i feel like whatever this is that was from your past whatever it is whoever it is this is like almost feel like something wants to take a leap of faith with you now maybe when you were pouring into it in the past it did not have it didn't have the energy the time something something wasn't there some sort of component wasn't there that was it was meant for that moment for what you wanted for from it what you felt like you needed from it what you desired from it wasn't ready to be this full ace of cups yet it wasn't ready to give you a huge chalice like this you know so now whatever this energy is for whatever reason it has changed it has changed and now it is ready to walk through this portal and present itself to you in some way pisces i'm not sure what this is with the star card that's aquarius energy ace of cups that's pisces cancer scorpio energy the fool card is aries energy any of those signs could be significant or those could be significant placements in your natal chart also we are moving into that scorpio season so happy birthdays to happy birthday to all of my scorpios right we're moving into that scorpio season and i meant to say happy birthday to all my libras <laughs> sorry about that all right so i really feel like this is a time where you're kind of saying, you know what? Um, I totally, I, 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 I know I was pouring energy into this, but my focus is, hasn't been on it. And now it's presenting itself again. And I feel like this is something, Pisces, that you're going to be happy that it presented itself. I feel like even if your focus is not on it, 
that arm was still outpouring something in it energetically, subconsciously. You were still giving something energy, whether you realize it or not. But whatever you were doing, it's it's in the energy of going this being in this full energy of ready to have a new beginning, um, have some sort of new start, and oh, walk through this portal. You know, take a chance on something. It wants to some someone or something wants to be a little spontaneous when it comes to you. Now the Empress energy is here, Taurus energy. So I do feel like Pisces, whatever this is, it needed time to build up momentum. Whatever this was, it could have been a job that you, it could have been a part-time job. Something, I'll just say this, it could have been a part-time job and I'm using this as an example. It doesn't even have to be a person. It could have been something that you were investing in, but you didn't take too serious. And it's something that's behind you. It's in the past because you're focused on what you're doing right now. But this could have been something where maybe you were on call or you were on, um, I don't know, maybe you took a sabbatical. Maybe it was something going on, but I feel like energetically you're still connected to it in some way. So I do feel like something had to be, it had to, it wasn't right when you first wanted it. It wasn't, it wasn't constructed right. It just didn't have the energy that you needed. It couldn't give you what you wanted, what you really needed from it. So I feel like you didn't cut that energetic cord the way you think you did. And it did not cut an energetic cord with you the way that you think that it wasn't interested in you. It had to beautify up and make some serious changes, okay? For it to be ready to present itself to you. For it to be able to come in. So, let's see. Under the star card, wow, is the will of fortune. It's the will of fortune. So, this is change coming in your life. So, you can definitely, I don't know where this is. I'm going to take that plane flying over. We haven't had any planes flying. Y'all know usually when I sit down here it's always a lot of planes flying over as soon as i said a change is coming it's like taking the wheel in a situation being your own pilot right like something is is taking flight it's it's whatever it was that was grounded in your life right and again like i said this is like something where you were pouring into land energy, ground energy, right? This is like that that earth energy. So whatever it was that was grounded in your life that was could have been almost feeling like it was stagnant. Um, you can't really, I, I wish you could see the pictures. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But if you look at what the energy is that's pouring in here, it's, it's almost as if it's not as much water coming from this this uh picture here where it's it's like more water is being poured into this lake this pond where there's a least amount of water almost like a stream being poured onto the land so again i feel like you aren't giving something or you turned your back on something and you weren't giving it the energy you used to give it because you're so focused on the present moment in your life but there's some sort of significant change. The wheel is turning at this time. This is energetically, I feel like you may have completed a karmic cycle without realizing something or something that you've been really wishing for is finally taking flight and coming in. It's time for you to have it, okay? Um, you have the four pentacles here and the ace of cups is crowning the four pentacles. So with this four of pentacles, the four of pentacles can mean a number of things, Pisces. The four of pentacles can mean you're holding on to something. It could be the energy, something's being kept, something is treasured, something means a lot to you. And I feel like this could have been something you were trying to hold on to with everything you got. Could have been a job, could have been a relationship, could have been a person, could have been a, I don't know what it was could have been a place where you were at it could have been you were doing everything to hold on to it with everything you had you may have even had to penny pinch at times with this four pentacles and try to hold on to something but I do feel like this is the energy where you also 
because it's so important to you, it was so valuable and it is so valuable, it understood your love for it. It comprehended that. So something subconsciously that you truly did love, that all the components were there to have your vibration high, something that you were giving your all to, it had your complete focus at one time. But I don't feel like it was completely focused on you when you were completely focused on it. Could have, again, could be a person. It could be a place. It could be a thing. But whatever it is, it's ready to focus on you now. This could even be from the spiritual world. Your spirit guides, maybe you have been praying and praying and praying for some sort of change with this will of fortune in your life. God, I just need a sign. I need you to show me that I'm on the right path. I need you to show me that my prayers are being heard. You could have been calling on Archangel Michael, calling on Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel uh, Metatron, Archangel A uh, um, Ariel, Archangel uh, uh, what I, <laughs> I'm just going on and on and on. But you get what I'm saying. There is something in your life and I feel like you had you were in the ace of cups energy with it you had it had your undivided attention and you had love for it it is turned around and focused on you now and it could be coming in when you you really expect it maybe things are kind of tight and you got to hold on to a lot i feel like your work is building you're building something you're working towards something with that four pentacles you know if you look at this energy here, they're standing on, there's, there's, they have uh, two pinnacles under their feet, meaning that that's like that root chakra. You're making sure you have security. This is what you want, security, emotional security, financial security. You want to be able to stand on something, right? And then holding on to it. And then another pinnacle is sitting on this energy's head. So it's like, you're trying to make sure you have enough okay and i feel like with this ace of cups here this is just what you've been wanting or what you've needed something is finally matching your energy now with the the thing that i'm saying with this pisces is are you ready for this are you ready for it because i feel like this is something that again it's up it's almost like it's behind you now you just didn't get what you wanted when you wanted it but now it's coming in and it could be coming when you need it the most. Wow. Ace of Pentacles here. The Fool card. The Fool card is crowning the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay? So again, energetically, there's a portal being opened for you for some new energy to come in to offer a new financial beginning. You have the Ace of Cups and you have the Ace of Pentacles here. So this is like a beautiful new start. This is a beautiful new beginning. This is something awesome. Trying to be nosy and see what kind of hell I was trying to read the side of the helicopter. I can't, couldn't really see it. Oh, I think those are military helicopters. Okay. But anyway, so I do feel like something is being offered to you with this Ace of Pentacles. This is going to create some sort of new beginning. So maybe you were trying to manifest a new job. Maybe you were trying to get somebody to invest into the connection the way you were investing into it because something had your undivided attention. And I feel like now it is showing you the attention that you showed it so if you put a lot of love into it you were committed to something you were dedicated to it you put all your energy into it i feel like this is just what you're getting back it may be delayed it may have been delayed because it was kind of like damn i'm not seeing no results i'm not seeing nothing get better let me focus on maybe i'm doing something wrong let me focus on something else but i feel like energetically that arm was still there pouring that picture in two that ground energy, that earth energy, yes. So this is almost as if you nurtured something without really, really realizing it, okay? And then crown, the Empress is, wow, crowning the world card. 
Oh my goodness, Pisces, what in the world is this? Have, what have you been doing? This is amazing energy here. Some of you all have, I almost feel like you kind of gave up on something physically, but you didn't give up on it energetically. And it needed to complete a cycle within itself. This could even be your ancestors and your angels where you felt like they didn't hear you, your spiritual guides that you were trying to invoke and call on. And you're like, do you hear me? Here I am. <laughs> like, do you hear me? This is what I see. It's almost like you were trying to invoke this energy to be, to, to get its attention. And this could have been in a love relationship too, where you're like, okay, I'm bringing everything. I'm, I'm doing everything. I'm, here's here's my cards. I'm putting everything out on the table. So I feel like again, something had to complete, or someone had to complete a cycle. When you cross paths paths with them, you were ready, but it was not, or they were not. They're ready now. And this is somebody who wants to travel with you, or there could be some travel. This could be a job. But someone wants to show you a new way of doing things. Life wants to show you a new way of doing things. So if you haven't been that type of person, so just say you got a passport, but you ain't got no stamps in that sucker. <laughs> Or the, or the damn passport got cobwebs on it, right? It, the, the stamps old is on or what? This is you energetically saying, okay, now I have the finances. Something is coming in. I have some, I have some elbow room now because it's almost as if you were holding on to these four pinnacles and then here comes this other pinnacle. You understand what I'm saying? So, and for me, I'm thinking like four pinnacles, one more pinnacle, five of pinnacles. You could have felt like something was lost. Like it was already gone. Okay. I want to clarify. I'm going to shift these cards around a little bit. Shake up the energy some. I want to clarify this star card on top of this wheel of fortune. Something that you've been trying to manifest. You've been trying to, you've been like, okay, I got my WD-40 spraying down the wheel. I'm trying to get something to turn. I'm just trying to, or you know what, Pisces? Another thing that I'm seeing is maybe you were so focused on one thing that you became stuck in some way, energetically. Because look at this energy. It's just like I'm pouring into the I'm pouring to right now. Let me just looking. I'm looking down. I'm just focused on this. My arm is still pouring here, but I'm really focused on this. So maybe you became maybe you were the one who was stuck and wasn't really moving forward energetically. Maybe when you saw something from your past not working out, it sort of zapped your energy. Maybe it messed with your maybe it messed with your um your confidence some. Maybe it, you know, maybe something was all it almost kind of messed with your confidence because you were like, damn, you know, I was given to this and putting all this energy into it and I didn't see anything. So I feel like energetically something could have messed with your confidence. This was this is what puts you in that star card energy of still pouring back here, but also focusing on, but you're looking down. You're not looking up, looking around, looking around your environment. You're looking down. Like you have your one track mind focused on one thing. So you could have became stuck energetically in some energy. And this is, and this. I'm trying to tell you, the universe like, uh-uh, baby, where that WZ-40 at? We about to spray this wheel. Because that wheel could have been screeching and, and damn rust and every damn thing on it. Need new bolts. And all kind of stuff. But something had to change. And something is changing in your life. You got something new coming in. Okay, let's see. Why is the star card here? Why is the star card here? Why is the star card here? The queen of swords. So you now you're seeing something with the keen insight. I said you were looking down at first. You're about to look up. And what you're looking at, Pisces, 
whatever this is that you're looking at Pisces you have some keen insight and some wisdom you're seeing something in an analytical way now you're seeing something you're I feel like this is a situation where because you put so much emotion into something in your past you may feel like, okay, I did that. That didn't work. I got to try a new way of doing something. So now I feel like you're doing something in a logical way. You're using your third eye chakra. You're really tired. But I feel like this took a long time for you to be able to do that, though. You know, people always say, you know, use your third eye chakra. My third eye is open. But for real, it don't be. You know how long it takes for you to really have that third eye chakra? For you to be able to close your eyes and still see clear visions and to see things manifest, see beyond what you want to see, but what the truth is takes time. You literally got to train yourself to do that. This is almost like a blind person using all their other senses to see beyond these two eyes. Okay, and so I feel like this is where this Queen of Swords is. You're in some energy, you're seeing something. You know, it this is bigger than you. You realize if you can control what's in here internally, you can control what's around you externally. What you sending out into the quantum field is being reflected back at you. So again, like I said, whatever it was you were sending out, that you pulling all that good energy. Oh, baby, I love you. Here is everything, what you need, what you want, masculine or feminine energy. I don't care what energy you are. This was a job. I'm going in. I'm getting, I'm making sure I'm there on time. I'm putting my all into this. It's something you put your all, 100% you put in it because you were vibrating in the energy of love for it. You loved it. You had no, no artificial boundaries that you had set up. You didn't want to be blocked. You wanted to be transparent. And you think that the energy haven't picked up on it, it has. And this is what you're getting back. Okay, so why is the Ace of Cups here? Hmm, a blank card. So I'm going to tell you again, something is being offered to you that you're not going to see. This is an offer coming in that I feel like this could even be something where you're even questioning yourself. You may be like, do I want this now? I, I know I wanted it before I gave my all to it. Do I want this? And I feel like this is a time you may even question yourself. Or do you still feel the same way? I almost feel like you're happy because something is being offered to you or is finally showing you love or attention. But it's I feel like there's some sort of blankness. It's almost like a blank canvas. And I almost feel like a blank canvas. A blank canvas is something that you're going to be able to sort of almost like you have the power to write what you want it to be or you're going to have the power your wish is my command. I, something like that. It's almost like you've changed. You loved something. You gave it your all, but you've grown over time. Your needs have changed. Your wants have changed. And so this is almost like let's start from scratch. Let's start from the beginning. A clean slate. Let's rewrite this. There's nothing here. Let's, we can rewrite this the way we want. We can rewrite this love story. We can rebuild this relationship the way we want it to. You know, so I kind of feel like, yeah, your wish is my command. That's what I heard. Okay. All right. Something is coming in. Something needs to change, Pisces. And I feel like for some of you all, you may have to, with this world card, the world card is a movement card, energetically as well as physically, you know? So some of you all may be moving. You may be traveling. You could be moving to a new location. You could be moving to another state, city, town. This could be another job. This could even be 
because the empress is like a family energy this is like a mother figure um so maybe you're even and it could it's also a marriage energy so some of you all may even be looking at marriage or something like that i'm looking at that green the ring with the world card there may be a a ring there some of you all your marriage ring you want an emerald you maybe you don't want a diamond you want an emerald or something like that or somebody may be offering you that um yeah, it's starting to rain okay why is the fool card here the nine of wands sagittarius aries energy here a lot of fire I'm going to tell you something. This is what I see. Something that you were putting your all into is ready to fight for you now. It's ready to fight for you now. I feel like you may give this some resistance because you're not sure if it's what you still want. You're not sure if it's, if it's going to fulfill you the way that it used to. Things have changed, you've changed on a cellular level, right? Vibrational wise, you've changed. Intellectually, you've changed. You're not the same. So there's an energy here, Pisces, that want to take a leap of faith with you. And someone or something wants to fight for you. They fought many battles and won with this nine of wands. They've had to complete something, but they had to do this. So when they gave themselves to you, you could have its full attention. So just say if this is a job or something like that, they may have had to deal with some employees. They may have had to let some people go, move some people around, you know, so they can open up some spaces where it's not a toxic environment. If this is a past person, some sort of past connection, this could be some person who a person who had to get some people out of their life. You know, who was combative and constantly keeping a bunch of drama going. I almost feel like an energy needed, you needed to be out of the way so someone could see something clearly without your energy being there. And that's why I couldn't give you what you needed right when you wanted it. Even if you were giving it everything. Why is the Empress here? King of Swords. King of Swords, honesty, truth, a lot of structure coming to a situation the empress and the king of swords but you know the empress is like the empress and the emperor they're like they trump all of the kings and queens and the tarot deck so i almost feel like this energy here with the queen of swords you got the queen of swords you have the king of swords this is an energy that wants to meet you on a mental level. It's so far beyond physical. Somebody loves your intellect. Somebody loves, they wanna, they love the way you think. They love the way you process stuff. They love the way you communicate. So this is somebody who wants to communicate with you because they feel like you all are on a level. They want to know your love language, whatever that is, if it's in a relationship and if it's on the job, somebody wants to give you the freedom to really be able to build, uh, uh, maybe restructure something or build upon something. Okay, so you could even be put in some sort of leadership position where there's like, you know, let's brainstorm something like that. This could be a job where they want to brainstorm and so they can put some things into position um, where they can have a very healthy staff, um, something like that. So why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Page of Swords. When I tell you there's going to be some life lessons that are learned here. Uh, yeah, a lot. Of, I feel like a lot of communication is going to come in. New communication, new lessons learned with this wheel turning. Right? And this is you being observant too. This is you watching every little thing. Some of you all, I don't care. I said it in another video. I could be looking this way and still see what's going on over here. You understand what I'm saying? So this is you being observant. This is you also learning something new about this wheel turning. Okay. As the wheel turns, 
you're getting knowledge as you go as you grow in some sort of new environment i almost feel like you're going to be almost like like how this energy here seems to be up on a hill somewhere so it's almost like you're getting some sort of new insight a better view a better perspective a totally a new perspective a very youthful perspective on how to do something then you got the two of wands clarifying this four of, of pentacles here yeah so i do feel like again like i said stability some sort of stability is giving you a choice you're going to have a choice you're going to have to make some of you all this could be the choice between two jobs maybe it's in two different locations the money could be the very thing that help you with making a decision okay of course you're you may be like okay if I have to travel this much, how much is gas going to take? I mean, cost me. How much is this going to cost? How much is that going to cost? Is it worth it? You know, the wear and tear on my vehicle or... Okay, it's really windy. I'll leave the cars are starting to... Let me put that on top of it. Okay, so is it worth it or should I stay... Should I take this job where I can hold on to more of my money? I feel like you're going to be weighing, you're going to make a choice and look at, you're going to be looking at something from a different perspective, like where you want to go, what you want to do. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Six of Swords. You're going to make a choice. Something about you leaving the hard times behind and moving into calmer waters. This is almost you being guided. You could have been asking for your angels, like guide me in the directions, direct my feet, direct my path looking trying to use your third eye trying to see what you should do where you should go energetically and i feel like you're going to have what you need with this ace of pentacles here so it's almost like you're moving right into this energy where you're going to have you're seeking out more so again i feel like something is money related you're it's almost like you're going to have an opportunity to financially rebuild in some area of your life but it may come with you having to either change jobs or it could be the type of job where you have to be at different locations or something like that um and then you have the world card and clarifying that is the ten of swords here so i kind of feel like a lot of heartbreak you've had to deal with a lot of painful situations spices and this always comes up in your reading you know it always comes up but i feel like you are You've learned some valuable lessons here about this level of betrayal of what you've had to endure. I do feel like you may still be trying to deal with some situations here currently in your life. There could be a disagreement, especially if there could be a conversation about betrayal, backstabbing energy, lack of trust, something maybe this is why you want to move on from an environment a person a place or a thing maybe you're being offered something and you're like no i'm not going back there because it was too much drama too much betrayal too much so i feel like there's some sort of dilemma here and at the bottom of the deck you have the tower moment here so i do feel like with this tower moment pisces this is about you rebuilding from the worst case scenario some of you all have taken a real big hit in this life in some area there was some sort of loss some sort of defeating energy here some sort of it this is the root cause was a lot of betrayal and i feel like you had and it caused a tower moment that you are have been trying to really rebuild from this may have been a situation where you felt like you had no other choice again but to turn your back on something and start focusing on something else you know maybe you again because you were giving something so much energy maybe you feel like you had to turn your back on it so you had to allow this sour moment to take place due to a lot of betrayal and you know and this could have even put you in a place where you almost felt like you hit rock bottom okay all right, so we're going to close out this reading because I do feel like you have some good things coming in your life. And some change is definitely here for you, Pisces. 
I feel like there's a rebuilding of this energy from a tower moment, a lot of betrayal. There's an offer that you kind of turned your back on that you are, that seems to be coming back around. Someone may have needed to clean up some situations or fix some situations or deal with some situations before they can make you an offer. Okay, so let's see what the spirit, a message for my Pisces, self-love. Now is the time to love, nurture and heal yourself. Self-love is not simple. It's not a simple state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, your mind, and your soul. So yeah, I feel like right now, you're. this is what you've been really focusing on, trying to treat yourself better, loving yourself more. Soul power, your soul. Always remember your soul that comes with the body, not a body that comes with the soul. Your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. So this is a time when you could feel very confident because you've gone through so much and overcome so much, you know? Okay, cleanse your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take some time out for some much needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean your house, and tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. Some of you all need to fast. Um, you always hear me talk about fasting a lot. So times like I'll do uh, fasting where I'll eat only once a day, and throughout the rest of the day, I'll just do water, um, lemon water, ginger root water, whatever, um, or like a tea, like a matcha tea or something something like that um sometimes uh and so some of you all need to fast you need to do a cleansing some of you all need to do an emotional cleansing get a good cry out get out all of those bad emotions write them down think about all the things that caused you harm pain you know betrayal whatever get it out of your system and then some of you all this is a spiritual cleansing that needs to take place some of you all need to ground yourself you need to be out in nature more and grounding yourself and connecting to mother earth so you can get the those vibrational energies and vibes from the earth and not from technology and not from everyone else that you're constantly around but from mother earth okay and then at the bottom of the deck it says have fun stop when was the last time you had fun when was the last time you took a chance to do something silly something totally unlike you something just for the joy of it it's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and your soul permission to have fun so at this time some of you all that may be what you need to do you need to go out do something fun i don't care what it is i said some of you all got a passport and it got dust on it so <laughs> Maybe some of you all need to go travel somewhere or just do something. It could be a weekend. It could be a day, whatever. And just do something that you find absolutely fun. You dance like nobody is watching. Pisces, just go out here and do something good for yourself, okay? So that's what Spirit wants you to do because you definitely have some change coming into your life and something that's about to happen for you, um, to you and with you and it has something to do with what you're still energetically connected to okay all right pisces thank you so much for hanging out with me i will talk with you amazing people later be sure to check out my other channel star spa because i'm uploading readings on there it looks like it's going to rain i'm going to pick up on doing the cancer reading and then move forward i did Taurus, gemini aries so i'm going to pick up on the cancer reading and see how many readings i could do out here before it starts to pour down okay and i may have to do some of them in a the car and then i may have to go home and finish out the rest of them okay but whatever it is i ask you to please check them out thank you for all of your support and i will talk with you beautiful amazing pisces another time